Just like you and me, our pet needs to be following a wholesome diet. Hi, I'm Veronica with WatchMojo.com, and today we're speaking with the ladies from Shenzhen to find out what makes a wholesome diet for a four-legged companion. So dogs will eat just about anything that falls on the ground, so why is it important to feed them something that's very nutritional? So a dog with a healthy diet, you're gonna help maintain his healthy flora and digestive tract. Go Activia. <laughs> it's a whole buzzword, but it really is. That's why dogs can break down and eat wild prey, rotten carcasses, because their digestive juices can break it down. I think there's this huge fear of table scraps and eating people food. And like she mentioned, uh, a dog's intestinal flora should be able to process almost anything. Uh, in the wild, if they can't hunt prey, if they can't find prey, they'll eat a decomposing carcass. So the fact of the matter is we've kind of gone the reverse and they're eating such many manufactured food that that intestinal flora is being washed out and so really it's about rebuilding and, and maintaining their immune system and maintaining their their digestive tract. What do you consider a healthy food? Stuff we have in the fridge actually so if we what's in season so if we have leftover zucchinis or anything that isn't salad worthy for us anymore <laughs> that goes into a blender. Dogs don't care about the light brews. <laughs> So it helps recycle for us. Apples, zucchini, pears, shred them all up, put it all into a big casserole, and that becomes simple, fresh, alive food. If you're someone who's been feeding your dog dry food, can you make the switch easily? So in the wild, animals go days without eating. Their bodies are, are meant for it. So what you can do is a day fast. So it's a day where you just leave water readily available for them, and they go a day without eating. What that allows, particularly if they're on a chemical-based diet, is it allows the intestines to push out what's left. All of the sort of suspect food that's left over in the digestive tract will be pushed out uh, and it's this clean start and then you can start them on a new diet. And then you introduce every item individually in smaller amounts and the body has a chance to accept, absorb, and you can immediately see that's a great thing with a dog within a few hours what the result is. And then go from there and just build it up until you've added your, you know, your meat, then extra vegetables until you see and adding your yogurt to get them the healthy flora. And then build it up until you get to a good portion that is, you know, the proper amount of meat and uh, fibers and fruits and vegetables and your choice of grains. Now, is there anything else that your dogs may be chewing on that they shouldn't be for their health? Because they often chew on chew toys. You know, people come in, they want something their dog can chew on. A lot of the times it's, uh, the, I need something for them to clean their teeth. If you think about the concepts of the toys that are actually digestible or are partially digestible, um, they're not cleaning their teeth, they're eating it. So, and again, it's usually a cornstarch base or a wheat gluten base, and, and that's really just creating more paste when it's mixed with saliva. So we encourage people to either give a raw bone, and again, it's under supervision and there's guidelines about keeping that fresh, or giving them a toy that is durable, that maybe has a guarantee uh, to its stability, so it's not just a, an inexpensive plastic toy. You'll get longer use out of it, and it doesn't endanger your animal. Well, thank you very much. That's great information. Thank you. It was You're wonderful meeting you.